Reducing your debt at Christmas. This is one that I know still people spend stupid amounts of money at Christmas that they don't have. Um, how I'd explain it is I would cook Christmas dinner. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I would say cook Christmas dinner and tell people, don't buy me any presents. I'm not buying you any. I'm preparing a dinner which is more in line with the religious festival and not consumerism. Um, but also it reduces my debt and it reduces your debt. Simple as that. And I don't think anybody would actually come back and say, oh, you're tight or whatever on it because you're actually putting dinner out. The advantage of doing a dinner is, I don't know how many people are coming, um, but it will work out more cost effective than buying one iPhone, for example. Um, and it's not being tight. All right. The best times I, I remember as a child um, was the times in Irving with being at my grandmother's house with the family from all over the world. Cause we, we'd fly, fly in from Germany. Um, Hong, well, Hong Kong would be the second year when we come back to Europe. Um, but the whole point was those memories are far better than uh, an iPhone or whatever. Because the iPhone will be forgotten within a week. Um, doesn't matter who you buy it for. It doesn't matter because they have very little value. Um, even if you bought one for yourself, after a week, it's just another phone. It's not important. But when you go, that party was great. It was great to see these people I've seen for ages, blah, blah, blah. Everybody together, a bit of karaoke, whatever. That is long term far more value and on top of that it doesn't cost the earth if anything it um increases your social uh aspect um improves your networking between people which can be um good in so many ways it's not just business but um from relationships and stuff um, I mean, in Spain, our last dinner party, we we had a few people over that wouldn't normally connect with each other. Um, and everybody's, you know, interconnected now. Um, includes somebody does landscaping and somebody does air conditioning and construction. Well, they will overlap work because they both have people that will go, do you know who can do this? And they have somebody now because they're friends. Um, so from that point of view, it's also rewarding. But... Well, I said, it's the positive memories. You know, you used to have some fantastic times at Christmas. And the one thing that you don't have then is that stress of trying to make ends meet and worrying about, is everybody going to be happy with what they've got, blah, blah, blah. I, I can only say, stuff that. Half the time, people get stuff they don't want or don't need. Um, the only thing everybody seems to get is debt, which is something nobody needs. So invest in a Christmas party instead, something that everybody could uh, even put a bit in, you know, bring bring a bowl, you know, so that it's split between everybody. It's not tight. It's common sense. All right. Thanks for watching.